Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pat Matthew. I'm here to talk to you guys today a little bit about the MetaTrader 5 platform. There's been a lot of hype surrounding this platform lately. You know, it's getting ready to come out. You know, we're guessing within the next six months is what we've heard from brokers such as FXDD and Alpari, both of which have a copy of the platform for you to download. And you'll see we have the platform pulled up here. Uh, looks very similar to the MetaTrader 4 platform. Of course, there are some subtle differences and also some differences that will seriously impact your trading so we actually just downloaded this from the Alpari site you can go here and do the same download MetaTrader 5 I will currently point out that you cannot have the platform trading live accounts yet as I said before it should be you know somewhere within the next six months where we'll have those capabilities they're still in the final stages of debugging the platform, getting all the functionality correct and things of that nature. But you can download the demo platform and you can build expert advisors and you can use indicators and you know watch the market from the demo accounts, which is something that is still pretty useful. So we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead now and talk about some of the differences between MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5, some things that have been added, some things that you can and cannot do. And for one, we'll notice one of the big features of MetaTrader 5 is supposed to be the depth of market technology. You can see here it is um, disabled on the demo versions, so it kind of makes me personally think if they're going to you know, have this finalized for the Forex market and for the MetaTrader 5 platform. For those of you that don't know, I'll bring in a depth of the market right now. This is what the depth of the market looks for. This is the S&P 500. This is the depth of the market. You can see the quantity of you know, bids and offers of the market. It's very useful, and it's something that we really hope is incorporated and finalized into the MetaTrader 5 platform. Some other things that are useful. Down here we have an exposure you know, bar chart that will sort of show you um, how your assets and your positions are you know, divvied up in the Forex market. It's something, you know, it's a small, subtle addition, but nonetheless can be very helpful. We'll, uh, we'll get into more of this later when we start putting positions on and you know, getting into things of that nature. Also, we have more indicators, which you know, are always helpful. Let's go ahead and pull up our indicators here. Indicators, lots more indicators especially in the custom you'll see you know much more custom indicators don't have time to break all these down individually maybe we'll do a webinar later dedicated just to some of the indicators in the MT5 platform but other than that let's get into um some of the real issues and where some of a lot of the you know hype is building up in the MetaTrader 5 platform and that is surrounding order placement now before in MetaTrader 4 if you place two orders you'd see you'd have two individual orders down here and that was just sort of how it was using MetaTrader but now well let, let me show you what happens so you go pull up a pound dollar order ticket let's put on half a lot we're gonna buy queued okay so we can see we have the order down here looks pretty much the same now let's go ahead and put another order on we'll buy more and you can see it's the same order and they've just averaged that price so now it's only one order what this does is it basically eliminates hedging because now you know like I said before notice we have you know we had the two orders so we have the net volume which is now one lot the average price and we didn't have a stop loss or take profit and the total profit for the position so now remember we used to be able to come in here and if we sold that would have been you know our third order and we could be you know hedged essentially now when we come in here and we sell boom it just takes us out of the trade it's trade it's like trading you know stocks or commodities so it's it's really gonna pretty much disable all old mt4 hedging bots like their logic is completely broken so those I mean I think we'll have a very tough time transitioning into the MetaTrader 5 platform so you know and personally if you hedge I mean you're kind of SOL with the MetaTrader 5 platform unless you want to get into you know multiple accounts different brokerages hedging but you know to be honest that's kind of a mess and something you probably should avoid I will also point out you know MetaTrader 4 will still be fully supported by most brokers it'll be around you know I speculate definitely for the next few years to come so there's not a huge push to you know move everyone to MetaTrader 5 when there's a lot of comfortable people on MetaTrader 4 now let's move on and talk a little more about I'm gonna go ahead and close position out 
Let's talk a little bit about the back testing and the, and the expert advisors in MetaTrader 5. So we'll go to view, strategy, tester. Some new things down here. For one, back testing execution. Now, you used to have the option where it was you could only do one minute data would be the tightest time frame. Now where we have we have every tick. You can see before we usually only got that one minute open high low close. Now we can get it down to every tick which should significantly help the modeling quality of these systems. And something very interesting also is for optimization you know we still have the same pretty much the same methods as before but you can do what's called a walk forward. In these windows how this works is, let's say you run an optimization of two th 2009. So I'll just put in 2009 here. So that's all of 2009. The walk forward will run that optimization. It'll find the best settings, you know, the settings that produce the most profit based on, you know, net profit or expected payoff or drawdown or whatever you specify right here, actually. So you do balance max. And it will automatically then take the best settings and run a back test of those settings for half this window. Um, I, I, this is very, very um, technologically intensive, important stuff. And I recommend you read up more on it. We don't have time to go into every nuance of walk forward optimization during this webinar, but I highly recommend you look into that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and run a back test here. This is just the sample MACD, you know, that comes with the trading platform euro us dollar for all of 2009 we're gonna go ahead and do the every tick disable optimization for now start the back test we can pull up a graph of the actual back test you can see here it seems a little more interactive a little more crisper than the old mt4 platform you have green equity blue balance and you actually have the margin level down here which is new um kind of interesting something to play around with so we're going to let this run. Also have an inputs tab. I guess the developers, meta quotes, felt it was necessary to have an inputs tab. Usually you just had, you know, the expert properties button over here. You could click and pop up, but hey, you know, it doesn't hurt anyone. So now that this is done, we can go in here and look at the results. You can actually switch between the deals view or the orders, which is more the traditional one, orders and deals. As before, you can right-click, open chart. There was it was a button before, and you can still actually do the double-click the order, and it'll take you to the spot on the chart where the order is executed. One of my personal favorite features. I mean, other than that, you know, you got a lot of options of the view that you can switch between here. Um, so the strategy tester, that's pretty much it. Again, I recommend you know you play around with the walk-forward optimization stuff. And also, let's take a look at some of the actual coding differences. We can go Expert Advisor, we'll create a new one. Expert Advisor, boom, next. Call it Test. Yes, we'll overwrite it. Okay. So, for the most part, um, it's the same. For those of you who are familiar with the MT, the Meta editor 4 um, a lot of similarities with meta editor 5 one thing is nice is that it, this one has a debugger so you can start this debugger and go through and you, know, you can put in you know the break lines and go through and you know really debug your code really really cuts down on the development and debugging time just a huge help so this will hopefully you know take away from a lot of the time the developers spend debugging stuff and allow them to develop new things and spend time working on optimizations and back testing and you know making different trading systems also you can um, what's kind of cool is that if you declare a variable later on when you use the variable um, and meta meta editor 5 will automatically recognize you know that you're using one of your custom variables and will auto generate the variable helps you know again on debugging and misspelling variable names and stuff very cool I recommend you take a look at it as for all of that um, you know everything is relatively in line with MetaTrader 4. We're really looking forward to this product coming out. We think that expert advisors will be taken to a whole nother level being developed within MetaTrader 5. We're really excited for it. And if you guys have any questions, comments, anything about MetaTrader 5 or anything at all for that matter, go ahead and email us info at forextoolshop.com.